الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی نہ محمد و علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بعد احبت اللہ احبت اللہ من باب فائدہ فرام سم آف دا گریٹ بینیفٹس دیٹ وی لرن فرام لرننگ دا سن آف دا میسج آف اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دس وائی انکریج مائی سیلف اینڈ مائی بردرز اینڈ سسٹرس ٹو ریڈ اینڈ آئی ریلی بینیفٹ ٹریمنڈسلی بائی sharing and reading it forces me to go into the text the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it helps my iman and I hope that you will do the same by reading a lot reading the verses the book of Allah and reading from the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to increase your iman to increase you in drawing nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And in a beautiful narration, which shows us the permissibility of asking someone to make dua for you. Because a lot of times we hear different viewpoints and it is going to require for us to go to look to the authenticity of this, these narrations. But there are narrations in, and you'll find this in Riyadh al-Salihin, but the asl is coming in uh, Sunan Tirmidhi wa, uh, and also uh, Sunan Abi Dawood. Umar bin al-Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala an reported, I sought permission of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for Umrah. And he granted me leave and said, Brother, do not forget us in your supplications. I would not exchange these words of his for the whole world. And in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, Include us, my brother, in your supplications, Abu Dawood and At-Tirmidhi. So, this shows us, and again, we need to look at the authenticity of these narrations. But what we learn from the narrations is we see the permissibility of asking others to supplicate for you. Meaning those people who have the ability, who are living, not the dead. Those people who have fadl, maybe someone, one of your mashayikh, one of your, uh, your imam, students of knowledge, or just a righteous person in your community, that you may... Ask them from time to time, you know, would you please supplicate for me that such and such goes good for me or whatever the case may be. So it shows us that in accordance with these narrations, that it's permissible to ask a righteous person or a person who has fadl to supplicate for you, you know, who's one who's a traveler, one who's doing hajj or umrah and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil